Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, like that we did that at the same time. I don't know if it'll sound like that to them, but the aha was in fact at the same time. Uh. So Eric, you were not here last time. Um, in the last stream, correct. In the last stream, uh, I started the iconic canyon. It is pretty iconic, isn't it? The iconic canyon, yes. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, quite. <laughs> and Stone Tower. So yeah, we got the the mirror shield. He's making a scared pogger face. <laughs> I like I, I like to imagine it's an opera singer. <laughs> Alright, there's gonna be a lot of item swapping here. I need the hook shot. Uh, Would we get copyright claim for opera? No, it's all public domain. I think if we're singing it, it's fine. I did get uh, <laughs> copyright claimed when I uh, played <laughs> Starships by Nicki Minaj a couple of streams ago. <laughs> no. <laughs> so uh, I can't monetize that video. Let this man play Starships in peace. Oh, last time we also learned the Elegy of Emptiness, if I can find it. Ooh, the, the one that confirms that Link is dead. Yeah. R Y A X. Oh, that's so weird. This is, pro this is probably the hardest song, the h hardest ocarina song to memorize. <sighs> the resemblance is uncanny. Uncanny Valley, or something. Get it now, laugh, dude. Wait, I already love the Great Ace Attorney. Nice. <laughs> I haven't even finished the tutorial trial yet, but I already love it. It's interesting because um, I've only played the original trilogy thus far. I have not played Apollo Justice what the? or oh, shoot, uh, what is it? Apollo Justice, the first one, Cool Destinies, or Spirit of Justice. I have not played either of those, nor have I played the Miles Edgeworth Ace Attorney Investigations. I thought you were going to say Miles Morales. I have heard that they are bad. <laughs> the Miles Morales. Spider Man games. Miles Edgeworth. Um, so I, the only Ace Attorney games I played was the original trilogy on the Switch, which I absolutely loved. Um, so I was super stoked about uh, Great Ace Attorney. So I don't know if this has been a thing in previous games, but I don't think so. But um, and probably because it is a prequel, but it, it is it is markedly more Japanese than the other games. Right. Um, not just in setting, uh, but also just like the names of the characters and using San at the end of people's names, um, which to my knowledge has not been present, at least in the original trilogy. Um, but the Japanese names are still English puns, which is hilarious to me. Um, how so? So, okay. Those ones. So, uh, there's a guy... It, it, the only ones I've noticed... Uh, the other ones may be puns, but these are the only two I've noticed so far. There's a guy who, uh... Is, is a military general who was a witness in the first, uh, trial. And his name is, uh... Iesa Nosa. Um... Yes, sir, no, sir. If you sir. say it fast... I think it's actually, yes, I know, sir. Yes, I know, sir. Um, 
I think it's supposed to be yes I know sir because I, <laughs> spoilers my, very minor spoilers for Great Ace Attorney if you're intending on playing it but um when I say very minor like this discovery is made like instantly when this character takes the stand you hear like a baby crying at certain points and then all of a sudden you see that he has a baby on his back and it's like what, what why does he have a baby and he's like oh this is my son, the, the newest member of the Nosa family to rise through the ranks. Meet my son, Ido. Ido Nosa. <laughs> um, and then you have... Uh, I don't know. It's, it, <laughs> <laughs> are you insane? Maybe. Uh, but then you have... Um, it's interesting. Also, to my knowledge, it's the first time where there have been two witnesses on the stand at once. Um... Because finally we're able to have two characters on screen at once, like actually interact, um, and it's it's great. It's very funny. Um, and you have uh, the other witness on the stand is uh, an antique collector, and another word for an antique is a curio, right? Mm -hmm. um, so his name, his first name is K Y U R I O, so curio. Um, and I forget how his last name is spelled, but it's it's Curio Correctura. Curio Collector. <laughs> I'm like, come on, man. And you said it's voiced, right? I thought it was, but the, it, it, true to form in any Phoenix Wright game, Ace Attorney game, rather, the, the voices are like the take that and the hold it and right. the objections. But there was, there was an option for voices, so I thought there would be voice acting. Oh, oh, there is. There is a little bit beyond that. I forgot. Um, every case in, like, in an Ace Attorney game has like a little opening, like, cutscene kind of thing that details some aspect of the crime with some of the missing details. Because they're not going to give it all away, obviously. But it'll show how investigators found the crime. Uh... And this one was done over some narration. Um, it was it, it was it was interesting, and it was like fully animated too. And I was like, oh, that's sick. But the game itself is not fully voiced, which honestly, this might be an unpopular opinion. I don't think if the the, the Ace Attorney games, I think, is one of the few franchises that. I would not be upset if they never became fully voiced. Mm-hmm, that makes sense. It's, a, it's half the fun. Like, like, half the fun is, like, if you're playing by yourself, choosing characters you like and doing the voices yourself, or getting with a group and, and doing the voices as a group. That's so fun. I think, from from what I've experienced of it, like, just me messing around with you and Dakota with, with uh, the game, is, like... Right. If it was fully voiced, I feel like it would have to have like an autoplay feature, like an autoplay of dialogue and stuff. And this does have an autoplay feature now. Oh, it does? Okay. Um, Sorry, go ahead. Well, I mean, that, never mind. <laughs> I was, I was going to say, like, if it, if it did, it would kind of like defeat the purpose of, you know, reading the, reading the dialogue and analyzing it, I think. But if it's able to be done right, like, I'm assuming the one you're playing right now does it fine so I, I mean none, none of the none of the character dialogue is spoken um but the, the autoplay thing does go a little bit fast for my taste um I'm sure there's a way to adjust the speed if there isn't that'd be stupid um but unlike other Ace Attorney games uh this is a thing that's common with other like dialogue heavy games but it's in my it, it, to my knowledge it's a first for the series, but it, it could very well not be. Um, there's actually a button where you can check the history. Um, uh, like the log of dialogue. Um, you can in, in Fire Emblem and other big story-based games. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so it does have that, which is nice. Um, it's a scarecrow. But also... The character animations are so sick. Um, sound effects are hilarious. Um, huh. 
And it takes over the best, like, analytical stuff from the other games. I don't think we'll be dealing with as much supernatural stuff as we dealt with in the original trilogy. I could be wrong. Um, but Ooh, it's, okay. it, it's like the the Ryunosuke guy, the, your main character, um, was confirmed to be an ancestor to Phoenix Wright, and I think it will be revealed, or maybe not, but it, it's pretty clear from what they're setting up that um, Kazuma, who was like your assistant, at least in the first trial, is, is an ancestor to Edgeworth, because um, uh -huh. they do a lot of similar poses. Because they do a lot of similar poses. I'm assuming, like, um, um, that Cosmo guy is, like, your Reno's case rival? He's actually, um, it's interesting. So, he's not really a rival, at least not yet. Um, because, uh, this isn't really a huge spoiler, because it's said as, as, as far back as the first game. Um... But obviously, Edgeworth is a prosecutor. Whoops. But Edgeworth's dad was an attorney, but he was a defense attorney. Um, and Edgeworth wanted to be a defense attorney, but eventually changed career paths. Um, and so, this guy is Edgeworth's ancestor, as I'm predicting. It would make sense for him to be a defense attorney. In this first trial, he's kind of acting like your Mia. Um... He, he, he's like your assistant giving you tips. Um, he's acting like uh, your Mia or your, your like Roseburg. Your, your, your sidekick? You, yeah, your, your tutorial. Quick aside, um, earlier I was saying how hard it was to memorize the Elegy, Elegy of Emptiness. I have it memorized now. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Way to completely undermine something you said about seven minutes ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, super speed. Boom. Yo, he shredded. Through the fire and the flames. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say that that was possible? Yeah, it is. It's an old video, <laughs> like, like for Ocarina of Time. Uh, someone was, sh like, blasting through fire and the flames. On the, uh, on the old forest flute. <laughs> All right, now, in this dungeon, I'm gonna need to whip out the stray fairy guide because this dungeon, I need to get all the fairies to get the great fairy sword. Stone tower, temple fairies. Where, where, where? Ugh, wherefore excuse art, me. Wherefore art thou? You know, wherefore actually means why. Why are you? Wherefore art thou? Yeah. That makes sense. So, I never thought about that, so but that makes sense. So the question he's asking isn't, uh, where are you, Romeo? But why are you, Romeo? Um... Because the next thing she says is, uh, I believe, deny thy father and refuse thy name. Basically, like, why do you have to belong to that family? You could have been anyone else and it would have been fine. So why did you have to be Montague specifically? You dastard. <sighs> Pull up the dastard count. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot, we have, every time I forgot we that was a thing. <laughs> well, every, here's the thing, every time we make that joke, no one ever says dastard for the rest of the stream. No. <laughs> Except for the time that I just did. Watch this. Hey Siri. Remind me in seven minutes to say bastard. Sick. A reminder set. <laughs> oh no, Link, Link, no. Alright. 
pink. All right, that's training with frame number one. Uh, can I make that jump? I can. Wow. Sick. All right. I can go this way. I can go that way as well. All right. Let's go this way first. This temple is... Oh, just kidding. Can't go this way. <laughs> oh, the respawn. That's cute. Um, this temple is pretty cool in terms of, like, Zelda dungeons. Jeez. What is this problem? You know what the things are called? Oh, God. What? I'm gonna... Wait, wrong button. I'm gonna find another one and have Tattle talk about it because it's kind of funny. Imagine an explosion coming from your face. Oh god, imagine being Bakugo. Imagine being Bakugo. Imagine all the people living for today. Oh god, it's here. Oh my god. It's called a real <laughs> bomb shoe. It's a, it's a real bomb shoe. Why, why, does, why does it look like, hey, you want some drugs? Hey, fellas. Hey. How do you do, fellow kids? You good, bro? Jesus. Hey, <laughs> Man's is tweaking. He bugging, bro. Alright, so... I, and I'm, I'm, I'm on a bit of a my Hero Academia kick at the moment because I watched the entire series in a matter of days <laughs> um, and, and I'm now as caught up as I can be with the dub because I know I'm a heathen but I, I generally prefer watching dubs um, How dare you be different from the uh, rest of the flock Yeah, how, how dare I Look, all I'm, this, this could be an entire If we got into this discussion it could last the entire stream All I will say is this most of the issues that people have with dubs are not because of the performance, but because of the direction. Don't misunderstand, this is not me bashing people that direct anime, at, b by any means. They're very talented, very creative people. I envy what they do, um, because I could not do it. However, it is very in style at the moment that most direction be most of the direction given to a lot of the dubbing performers is mimic the Japanese performance as much as possible, which is how you end up with line deliveries that are kind of awkward because the syntax in Japanese and English obviously isn't the same. It's not the same. Um, and so it's not just about matching up the lip movements, which is already hard enough. Also but they also the have tone. to try and match the tone and also have to match the performance, which... Part of the, the, the beauty of people of, of multiple people portraying the same character is the character development is going to be different. So the, the, the English, like the, the dubbing performers don't have as much freedom with character development as maybe they would want because their job, so, or, or so it has been explained to me, this could be completely wrong, but as I understand it, their job is to just mimic. Um, and and they they do a fantastic job. They, their, their performances are great. Um, and then obviously there is going to be some rigidity, just because character move their mouth x amount of times. We can only fit x amount of syllables to do that. Um, which is why some of the more natural sounding lines in anime happen when you're not looking at a character. Um, dubs at least. Anyway, and end, end of that rant. Uh, point is, dubs are good, you're just mean. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I've been on a bit of a I Hear Academia kick. Which of the quirks that have been seen in the show thus far, um, avoiding anything that happened beyond here we go, uh, the episode before the Selkie one, 
Um, given the quirks that we have seen thus far, which one would you want to have, and which one would you not want to have? <laughs> oh shoot! Sorry, <laughs> I'm having too much fun. Um. <laughs> oh. I would, explode. I would not want to have... Hmm. And just, just to make it interesting, for the sake of... To keep one for all in the discussion, let's say that you were born with it. To put it on equal pudding. Equal footing. Equal footing. <laughs> I, 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 I wasn't sure if I was going to say playing field or, or footing. So I ended up saying pudding. Uh, equal pudding! As opposed to unequal pudding? Separate yeah. the vanilla from the chocolate? Y you know, like the, the the swirl stuff? Nah, get that out of here. Separate the chocolate from the vanilla pudding? Segregation. Like in the good old... I'm kidding, I'm not gonna finish that <laughs> sentence. I'm just out of fear that someone will take me seriously. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta play it safe. <laughs> um, a quirk that I would not want to have. And a quirk that I would want to have. That's the question. Yeah, one of each. One you would want to have, one you wouldn't. Oh, did Link's eyes kind of bug out for a second there? Did you see that? I think, yeah, I think Goron Link's, he has like the cartoonishly large eyes whenever he's surprised. Oh, <laughs> okay. Bomba. Uh, Goron Link really hits him with that dump truck, huh? Yeah, he, about, he just backs it up on you. He got a dumpy. He, he do got a dumpy. Especially when he does that. <laughs> All right, a quirk you would want, a quirk you wouldn't. Oh, uh, you answer first. <laughs> oh God, you got it. You need time to think. Um. Ah! Well. Oh. I don't know if this is my final answer, but as a singer, present mics would not be convenient. Um. Oh. Hmm. I don't know if that's my final answer though. Uh. What the heck? Hmm. Yeah, that's actually really hard. Um, it is. I mean, I, I really like Dark Shadow, but like, do I would I want that? You know? Yeah. And, 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 well, he, he, here here's something uh, to consider. Dark Shadow is sentient, right? Did he age and mature with Tokoyami? Imagine Tokoyami having a temper tantrum when he was like three. Oh. And and ruining a birthday party or a family gathering because Dark Shadow was like, I want cake. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> you, you know the you know the TikTok audio where it's like, get out of my house. What are you doing in my house? I was like, I want waffle fries. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's, that's Tokiyami in Dark Shadow. I also saw a variant of that audio with Deku and Aoyama. They're like Aoyama breaking in his room to give him cheese. Yeah. I want waffle fries. Where do I that's go? Real. What do I do? Where did she go? Where do I go? Am I? Am I seriously trapped? I have no idea where to go. What? It's been like 10 minutes. Do I have to... Kill them all? Is that what I have to do? Maybe. When in doubt. Hold the phone. Hold my Yo, phone. Were they that big in Ocarina? I don't think they were that big in Ocarina. Honestly, bro, you I think you're right. I think I am too. But like I'm not a complaint, just an observation, because like they gotta give you know, something different for Goron Link to do. Oh, I was supposed to say dastard three minutes ago, so there you go. <laughs> hey yo! I don't have a key. I never got a key. <laughs> 420. Oh. Oh, in the game? Yeah. 
<laughs> um, okay, a quirk I would want and a quirk that I wouldn't. Um, uh, so, cement tosses seems pretty cool, but if I have to look like that, then no. Right, right. Well, actually, on, for me, it might be an improvement. Um, <laughs> oh, come on, man. <laughs> well, actually, I wouldn't be able to wear my hat anymore. Um, and otherwise, how would people know that it's me? Uh, it's my one defining characteristic since I have no personality. Um, <laughs> no matter how, how bad you look, you will never look as bad as Cementos. Oh, poor... But Cementos is so good, though. He is. What the hell is he? He's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a, literally a wall. He, he's, he is Cement Gumbo. Gumby. <laughs> Gumby. Gumbo is the food. Gumbo is the food. Gumby yes. is the green guy. He is he he is a <laughs> Yeah You know you know like the hardness scale for rocks? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Gum Gumby is the softest, Cementos is the hardest. Oh no. On a scale of one to hard. <laughs> On a scale of one to Cementos, how hard is this dungeon? Dar Dar I still can't get over the fact that Link just does parkour. I know, right? Well, that didn't work. Wait, am I s do I have to do this? <sighs> I have no idea what to do. I don't have a key. I can't get a key. There's no key anywhere. Am I just dumb? I could be. <laughs> I might be. Maybe. Um. I don't have a key. Yo. Is it walkthrough time? <laughs> Might be walkthrough time. I think it's walkthrough time, my G. Hey, whoa, whoa. Yo, this, bro, why was this question so much harder than I thought it would be? I thought I'd be able to come up with an answer. Oh my god! Ow. I thought I'd, be, thought I'd be able to come up with an answer. I cannot. You can not? Because the, the show does a, a great job of, of, in the manga I imagine, um, of, of demonstrating good uses for all. Actually, I, I would not want Pop-Off. I would not want Minetta's quirk. No, I wouldn't either. It's just lame. It just visually, it's not good. I mean, I, I like, I like Todoroki's. I feel like it's really versatile. Yes. But it also would require an insane amount of control. Mm-hmm. All of them do, but like his specifically, because he has to regulate his own body temperature. I think the best quirks are the ones that are, you could use on in like everyday stuff, but also in, like, combat or self-defense. Uraraka's is really good. Zero gravity, it, it's really good. It is. I can imagine I can imagine many ways to use that in, like, everyday utility. Oh, uh, dude, so... We're gonna be moving into a new apartment in a couple weeks. Can you imagine? Oh, zero gravity. Yeah. Which we won't have to do with those stairs. No, I think. Stales. <laughs> the stales. Um, we won't have to deal with stales, fortunately. What the heck? Where do I go? Oh my goodness. I'm gonna lose my mind. Y'all gonna make me. Music make you lose control. Y'all gonna make me act a fool up in here. Up in here. I can't believe I didn't think of this. You know what? You know what is honestly probably the the quirk that I would get the most use out of creation. Easy, bro. Oh my god. Oh uh, yes, Momos. Yeah, your roses. Yes, that makes sense. Bro, I mean, can you imagine? Honestly. 
As long as you know, the, the, I think I think her quirk is that like as long as you know the 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 like the makeup of some of any object, you can create it. Right, like what elements it is. And a lot of that information is just readily available on the interwebs. Mm -hmm. Like, dude, how many times I should I, I will I was gonna say I should start counting, but I would forget instantly. Do you know how many times in a school year I say, "Can I borrow a pencil"? <laughs> so many, but I don't have to worry about it. Ding dong, lipids in my body create pencil. And it'd be good for weight loss. This is true, dude. I would not run out of lipids for a long time. Some would say that's a good thing. I have, I have. Uh, some would say that's a good thing. Shall we say some some excessive storage? Even better. I like how I can just rip rip out LG Ventiness like super fast, but then Link still plays it like dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> That's good. Coolio, Coolio. Just like my friend Julio. Let me get the Zora mask. There was a new Shang-Chi trailer today. Uh, it basically showed the same stuff, so nothing really new. <laughs> uh, apparently, the, the What If series starts in like a couple weeks. Oh, you're so right. I didn't realize that. Dude, those look so sick. What the heck? It's also uh, the last performance of Chadwick Boseman in the MCU. Yes. It is. Did it get... Robert Downey Jr. to voice Tony Stark? Because it didn't sound like him. No, they didn't. I met someone else. Great impression, but... Yeah. I do have to I kill understand. all the Armos. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm a ghost. <laughs> my name is Mateo. <laughs> I'm a ghost. This uh, Matela literally shows up and is like, I'm done being a ghost, it's your turn, and then peace is out. Alright, so I would not want Minetta's and I would want Yo Yo Rosie's your turn. Um I would not want Do you think Recovery Girl can recover herself? Unclear. But hmm. there is, um... You haven't seen the movies. There's a kid in the second movie with a very similar ability. I, I, I do know... Yes. I haven't seen the movies, but I have seen clips. He, um... Uh, since you've seen clips, I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you. The, the kid in the movie who's kind of the MacGuffin of the whole thing mm -hmm. has cell regeneration and that's like the whole gimmick. So you could say that and, and effectively get the same result. Hmm, I like that. Yeah, this is pretty good. Respectfully. Where... Okay, I need Zora, man. Ow. Oh my god. Ow. Zora, man. My 
my navy Missoula remain. It's me, Matelo. Arrow. Okay, between um, as, as soon as the season of My Hero Academia ends, I'm gonna want to start something else. So between Attack on Titan and Black Clover, which one should I start first? Attack on Titan because it's shorter. Is Attack on Titan over? Uh, no. But it's close. It's close. Yes. Um, the next, what the heck? Oh, the next, uh, so part, the final season got split into two parts. Um, oh my gosh, this is stupid. Uh, so part one of the final season of Attack on Titan finished airing. <laughs> that sounds so weird. <laughs> <laughs> The video of the old lady at the bus. Oh my! Oh my god! Yo, this is mad dumb, my G. Speed run cooler right here. <laughs> the run's dead. Come on, Link! You stupid! Fish. Assassination Classroom is on Hulu? Oh, big recommend. Big recommend, honestly. That's a... Banger series. I hate this game. I think you're, I think I, I you're need really to like uh, Assassination Classroom. I'll put it on the list. I need to rewatch Demon Slayer. It's been a minute. In like a year, and I don't remember anything. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. What? Okay, okay, this is it. This is the one right here. Watch. Boom. Nope. Just kidding. Mr. Worldwide. Link, you're stupid. Idiot. <laughs> Link, you're dumb. I'm gonna run out of magic, so I'm, I'm gonna have to time this better. See, he just he plateaus. He doesn't go out of the water like he's supposed to, because he's stupid. I hate this game. What about? Have you heard of uh, the day I became a god? What? Some of these titles, man. <laughs> Devil part timer. The Devil is a Part-Timer, that's also a really funny one. Hmm. Jesus. Jesus. Jesus loves me, this I know. Please get on the switch, you ho. Nice. Yes! There's 51 episodes of Black Clover? It's more than that. Why does it only say 51? Is that the, for the dub specifically? Well, it says 102, but each episode is listed on here twice because of sub and dub. Oh, well, there's a lot more than 50. 